Hi, this is Alexander Golovos with Teradata Product Engineering. This is another edition of the Teradata Tech Bytes. You're watching part two in the series of Using Python with Teradata Vantage. In the series, the key takeaway is to illustrate operating with Python on the Vantage platform from your client with the help of the Teradata package for Python, Teradata ML. In the present part, we will be examining data exploration and transformations, as well as building an analytic dataset, an ADS. It will be helpful if you're familiarized with connecting to a, a Vantage server and with basic operations in Teradata ML. Otherwise, part one can provide a refresher on those topics. Let us proceed with the demonstration in this part of the TechBite video. In the present video, we will be using this Jupyter Notebook to demonstrate the following features. First, we will show how to explore your data into a data ML via functions for summary statistics, feature characteristics, data type reporting, and creating plots from table data. We'll then show how to use options to display the actual SQL query submitted by Teradata ML to the database. We will demonstrate how to transform your data features by using Teradata ML data frame methods, Vantage Analytics library functions, and SQL Alchemy expressions. And finally, we'll show how to persist a Teradata ML data frame as a table in the database. Let's get started with initial steps that include loading the libraries that we will be using and by creating a Vantage connection to the target advanced SQL engine. So first we execute the box that loads the necessary libraries and then I will be connecting to the target server. So now we are ready to proceed further. In the first segment, we inspect the tables that we will be using in our example. Our use case is a financial institution that has information about its customers, their accounts, and their transactions in tables stored in the database. Let us create Teradata ML data frames for each one of these tables to inspect the information. First, we start with a customer table and we see here that it identifies customers by their cust id variable and contains personal information for the customers next we proceed accounts table so the td accounts table associates each account number with a cust id and contains related account information and finally as for the transactions table this associates individual transactions to an account number and contains related transaction information. Let us proceed now to the second segment, which is data exploration. The TD types method of Teradata ML data frames shows the type of variables in the corresponding table. For example, if we run this on the TD customer Teradata ML data frame, we see that, for instance, the cast ID variable is of type integer. Next, the values function of the Vantage Analytics library analyzes the table columns. And for each column, it produces characteristics such as the count of rows, uniques, blanks, number of positives and negatives. Further on, we demonstrate Vantage Analytics library statistics function and this function computes summary statistics about the numeric columns of a table, such as the minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation of each numeric variable. Teradata ML operates by pushing SQL queries to the connected Vantage system. These couple of statements here demonstrate Teradata ML utility functions that dictate Teradata ML to print the submitted SQL code for inspection as it operates. We now continue with a different section that illustrates how to create plots from table data. In these two notebook boxes, we use the Plotly package. First, let us create a histogram of the customer's income distribution. Observe that we're using the NumPy histogram function to create the histogram bins on the TD customer data frame. And the result 
is the histogram of income distribution as shown below. The next one is a bar plot. This plot illustrates the number of customers in each state. So you see here that there are specific states that have far more customers than others. And we will be using this information in the following for the data transformations that we will perform. So this is the third segment where we examine how to transform the original table data so that we can accommodate our needs. We start first with a customer table. We illustrate here data manipulation with the use of SQL alchemy functions, such as, for example, the case when function that you see here. We would like to create indicator variables for the gender, the marital status, and also the state code variables. In addition, we categorize the customers here in state code bins, where we retain the state codes for the six most common states of customer origin, and then aggregate the remaining state codes into a single other bin. The result is shown here, and we then proceed with the accounts table. In the accounts table, we illustrate using functions from the Vantage Analytics Library for data transformation. In the first few statements, we see that we use the fill a function, which fills non-number quantity elements with the specified values as shown in the corresponding statements. The one-hot encoder function creates indicator variables for the different types of accounts. Eventually, we use the transform function that applies those operations onto the TD accounts data frame. Finally, the operations of the account table conclude with the creation of a transformed data frame ACCT. We see here a sample of the rows of the ACCT table. Next, we work on the transactions table where we add indicator columns that designate the quarter in which a transaction was made. Specifically, we see here the result in a sample of the rows of the derived Teradata ML data frame. Now, the next step is to bring together those operations that we performed earlier on. So we would like to bring together the three transform tables. We do this in two steps. In the first step, we left join the ACCT to the CUST Teradata ML data frames, and we produce this intermediate Teradata ML data frame. Then we left join the previous intermediate result to the transform transactions data frame. The result is then the cost ACCT trend Teradata ML data frame that contains all of our transformation operations. Once done, we are ready for the next segment in our analysis. This segment now shows how to build an analytic data set from the transformations outcome. We see here that essentially what we want to do is to aggregate and roll up our variables by the cust ID variable. By this action, we essentially aim to determine the balance columns here and the transaction amount columns by the means of the aggregated values. Once we have this step completed, you see in the same notebook box that we would like to rename the columns of the resulting data frame to the names that we essentially want these columns to have. After the renaming procedure, you see one last action here, which is to use the drop in a function of the Teradata ML data frame so that we essentially drop the rows that contain no number elements. Finally, we persist the resulting Teradata ML data frame as a new table, aka tbv 2 ads pi in the connected database. To this end, we use the copy to SQL function, and when this is done, we have created our ADS table in the Vantage server as a new table. So this new table contains the analytic data set, the ADS, that we will be using ahead for our further analysis. The next step is, as you see here, that we create a data frame, Teradata ML data frame from this table. And we ask for a sample of these values. 
Our ADS is ready to use for the purpose of the credit card analysis later on. For model training and scoring, we would like to split the ADS into training and testing subsets. For this purpose, we use the sample function of the TardataML data frame. As shown in this notebook box, we apply a 60-40 split to the ADS data frame. And the result is the TD train test ADS TardataML data frame. The resulting data frame has an additional column, sample ID. This column identifies which subset each row belongs to. Next, we complete this task by creating separate data frames from TD train test ADS, specifically as you see here, on the basis of the sample ID column value, we create the train ADS and test ADS third data ML data frames. And finally, we simply use the copy to SQL function to persist those partial subsets as separate tables in the connected advanced SQL engine. And this task concludes our demonstration for the part two of using Python with our Data Vantage Tech Byte series. As we earlier illustrated, using Vantage Analytic Library functions for data transformations, we will finish this presentation with a brief related note. Specifically, there is a dedicated Tech Byte series presented by my colleague Tim Miller about the Teradata Vantage Analytics Library that you can find among the Teradata Tech Bytes collection. The Teradata Vantage Analytics Library Tech Byte series presents in greater depth and extent the many different functions and operations that you can perform with this library. And on that note, it is time to conclude our presentation. I would like to thank you very much and wish you a great rest of your day.